para ver esta receta en español ve a mi canal El Guzzi. Hey, what's up, grubbers and food lovers? Welcome to We Grubbin, a show about food, and if you love food, you're in the right place. Today we're going to continue our summer series, and we're making some strawberry kiwi paletas. For those of you who don't know, we're in the middle of a summer series called Puras Paletas, which means in these four weeks we're making ice pops. It's so easy. Last week we made some delicious ice pops. They're chocolate paletas. Oh boy, they're so good. If you want to check it out, I'll leave the link down below. And today, go grab your molds, go grab your mom, go grab your grandma, go grab your son, go grab everyone, and go to the kitchen and let's make these delicious ice pops. Okay guys, this recipe is so easy. All we need are strawberries. I'm using 10 to 15 strawberries and we are going to put these in the blender with one cup and a half of fresh water. To this we're going to add three tablespoons of sugar because these ice pops need to be sweet, okay? You blend that up and we're going to put it aside because we are going to work with our kiwi mixture, all right? For this we need three kiwis. If you guys don't know how to peel kiwis, I'll leave a link to a video in the description so you guys can check it out. You put this in your blender with one cup and a half of fresh water, the same recipe, right? With three tablespoons of sugar and you blend it. That's it, that's all you need to do. All right, I have this mold right here, but I'm not gonna use these things. I'm gonna use real popsicle sticks, okay? You fill your popsicle molds halfway, all right? And you cover it with aluminum foil. Now to this, you're gonna cut a little cut in the center. <laughs> this is gonna help you put your popsicle sticks so they could be in the center. You freeze it for an hour and you take them out and pour the other half of strawberry. Woo! This is so easy! You put the aluminum foil and you freeze them again for three to four hours or three hours and that's it! To take them out you dip them a little bit in hot water for a few seconds and you pull them out and you can disfrutar your tooth paletas. Hope you guys like these paletas, they're so good. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe here at Wheat Grubbin so you can see new videos each week, baby. Woo! If you guys do make these paletas, make sure you take a photo of it, upload it using the hashtag Puras Paletas so I can like it, love it, and see it, of course, and share it everywhere. <laughs> Am I crazy? Am I crazy? It's probably all that sugar. Next week, we're making these paletas down here. Look at that, they're so good. What flavor do you think those are? Let me know in the comment section below. Hello, this is it for today and I love you guys and to all you food junkies keep grubbing and food grubbing